What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. DDeb here, and welcome to Portal. If you've never heard of Portal or played it yourself because you live under a rock or some other isolated location, Portal is a puzzle-based game where you're a test subject going from room to room trying to solve the puzzles using a portal gun, which can create two portals that you can travel between, uh, you can send items through. It should be really fun. There's apparently an element of comedy to this game as well. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a very old game, released in October of 2007, about ten and a half years ago as of recording this. It's got 97% positive reviews on Steam, so it's definitely uh, a game of the people. People seem to love this one. And it's currently selling for $9.99 on Steam if you want to get this yourself and play it as well. I got it for $0.74 cents during the Steam summer sale, so... I think it's a great time to play this. I'm going to be releasing this every Monday for the foreseeable future. It's not an incredibly long game, but I am excited for it nonetheless. So, without further ado, let's get into the game. You can see there's 11 chapters. I mean, it's hard to see, but there's 11 chapters. And you can just tell by the UI that this game is a little bit dated. But I'm excited for this. This should be fun. Apparently, the, uh, the humor element is incredibly sarcastic. <laughs> And that's totally my kind of humor, so... Alright, we got a timer. Is that till we get released or something? I don't know. Got a little... Some music going. And whatever that is. Oh, crap. Oh! <laughs> oh Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. What? Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, Please refrain from... <laughs> Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Whoa, cool. Okay, so that's our first introduction to a portal. So you go through... Whoa, okay, so we're... We're female? Look at our legs. And our... That is weird. And then we exit through the side right here. Cool. Yeah, this game is old. I've never played it before. I'm really looking forward to this. And these cameras follow you wherever you go, it looks like. That's kind of creepy. And there's like an observation room there. Weird. All right. So this is definitely very tutorial based. You step on the pressure pad. It opens the door. But as soon as you get off, it closes. So we need to grab the box. Excellent. Please proceed there we go. into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material events a patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. That's a very wordy way of saying the objects in one room used to solve that puzzle cannot be taken into the next room to solve that puzzle. I'm excited for this game. Apparently, this game, it can stand by itself. It serves more as a precursor to Portal 2, which I also got for like a buck 49 or something like that. It sells for like 15 bucks currently or 20. I don't remember, but... Level 1 out of 19, and I think that's just in chapter 1. Okay, so... Please place the weighted storage Whoa. cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. <laughs> super colliding super button? Whoa, that portal just disappeared completely. What the heck? Why is it opening upon... That's strange. Oh, it's just periodically opening and closing. Interesting. Okay, we need this to open back up. Come on. There we go. And we need to grab the cube. Oh, it's rotating between them. Okay, see, this is... This is where the puzzle element comes in. You gotta kinda learn each room's quirks. 
so they're the blue one is teleporting around it looks like so we need to wait till it's and there there we go perfect oh, please move it. quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test <laughs> prolonged exposure to the button yeah that's gonna do some damage all right now we wait till it appears over there and go back through there we go cool one of 19 down <laughs> this is gonna be fun All right, so apparently there's like an overarching. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. <laughs> Good to know. As I was saying. There's apparently an overarching storyline in this game. What that involves, I'm not sure yet. But... Okay, so this is shooting... The blue portal. Can I control this? Very good. Ooh. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you. <laughs> Good to know. Also, this is kind of creepy. There's like... This looks like an observatory room, like where people would watch you as you completed the tests. But they're empty. And that's kind of eerie. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. <laughs> yes, yeah, so as this is a new series for me, guys, please let me know what you think. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so when you place one on the ground, you come out. This is where physics come into play. So if I jump into this, I'll be shot out further from the wall than if I just walk into it. Which is so trippy. That's going to take some getting getting used to, for sure. And then this, we can place another one up there. And go back through this. Eventually, we'll get the ability to shoot well, both, then. but... Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. <laughs> oh, this game. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Okay, so orange portals, it looks like, are just clouded until you put a portal through it so if we shoot one underneath it it should shoot out right here there we go once again excellent work yeah as part of a required test protocol we will not monitor the next test chamber you will be entirely on your own good luck somehow i doubt that this is so cool yeah the puzzles start off super simple like each room is kind of introducing a different mechanic but as we continue, they're going to just start combining mechanics and we've got to figure things out. This is obviously chapter one of 11. So I'm thinking I might do a chapter per episode, depending on how long these go. <laughs> Caution, don't get hit in the head by the cubes. Good to know. Okay, so this one we're not being monitored. Okay, so I look like I need to place a portal underneath that but we have to get up there first so we can aim it okay cool simple enough oh except we need another cube now so now this one's here which should bring it right there. That's cool how you can like put it back through 
And if we look, well, you if we were able to look down there, you'd be able to see it there as well. Oh, man. I've played games like this before. They're obviously knockoffs of Portal. But as part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. <laughs> Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. <laughs> I love this voice. I think it has a name. It's escaping me at the moment, but the voice has a name for sure. And in Portal 2, it becomes personified in a robot, I'm pretty sure. Right now, it's just kind of some ambient voice that... Or an omnipresent voice, I guess, is a better word. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject hometown here. <laughs> okay. That was kind of cool. And easy. But again, each room here is just introducing a mechanic. Alright, looks like we got that same thing again. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Unstationary Scaffold? Okay, so none of this... Ah, none of that wall can have portals placed on it. So I gotta wait till it's over there and then drop in. I like how you can see through the holes. That's really cool. And we can't expedite this at all. Nope. There we go. Level 7 complete. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. <laughs> followed by death? Did that work? Oh, we gotta wait for it to bounce back. Come through. That should make this move towards me, maybe? Did I miss? Oh. Ah, okay, so this one's all about timing. There we go. So this one shoots it out. I send it through and then I send it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, these are going to get complicated fast. Oh, I missed that. Repositioned ever so slightly. That should do the trick. There we go. Sweet. Now we have to get on it. Which means... Walk out on this one. And then we have to get back on the platform. So whenever it comes through. This is so cool. I love this, guys. <laughs> I know this is an old game, so... This is all on the internet already, but I don't care. This is fun. This is so cool, and apparently when this game came out, it was, like, revolutionary. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. That's why it has such positive reviews. It was just completely groundbreaking at its time, or for its time. Now, you know, it might be a little bit... Dated. I don't even know when Portal 2 came out. I saw that there was an update for it, like, not even a couple months ago. So I know it's still being kept up with, which is nice. This one is obviously, you know, coming up on 11 years old, so it's not the being updated, Center but... regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Uh, except I have to. 
Oh, I can't bring anything through here either. So if I try to grab this, it should just disappear. Yep. Okay, so. Caution, they fall, they'll hit you. The enrichment center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Ah, but it's not clearly broken. <laughs> oh, so it's just if you pass through the field, not... Fantastic. Okay, cool. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. <laughs> I love this AI voice. That's going to make this game for sure. Hello again. To reiterate, what? Momentum. Something about momentum? Ah, I need momentum. There we go. So if you jump into it, it shoots you out forwards. There we go. Okay. There should be another one here, I'm hoping. Oh yeah, okay, so if we shoot this one at the four and jump into that. There we go. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Is that where our next portal's going? Oh, so this time we shoot this one and jump what is that jump from here? Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. <laughs> oh, so they show you one and two where to jump from? Oh, we came in upside down? That's cool. And then three? Do we have to... No, we don't have to do it again. I guess that's just indicating height levels. One, two, three. Cool. Yeah, this is already getting slightly more difficult. Still, still very much in the basics, but oh, I'm so excited for how this is going to progress. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, <laughs> the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Good to know! Okay, so we have to enter the room using... Where did the portal go? Ah, and this is where we get our other one. Cool. Okay, so I think we need to go on this one and like jump into it? Is that a thing? No? Oh, that looks safe. <laughs> I didn't even see this over here. Ah, so now we just wait for it to shoot a portal back over here and then we can enter wherever the heck that is. There we go. Onto the stairs where there's an energy thing bouncing around and it needs to go somewhere. Success. Does that open this door too? No, do we have to go back out? I guess we have to wait for it to get us back on that one. That should time pretty well, I would imagine. I hope. Yep. Oh man, so much guesswork, but sometimes it just works out. And this should allow us to freely place the orange one as well. I'm impatient. There we go. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in Subject Phantom <laughs> They clearly care a lot about us. Oh, 
Oh, hold on. So we have to push this button, ride this back, and then jump through there? I think that's how that works. So we have to time this one as soon as this starts heading away, I think. Okay, cool. So the door closes, but that doesn't matter because we already shot a portal through it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sweet. Get your cheater, fling yourself. Fling, fling into space. <laughs> fling yourself, fling, fling. Okay, so this is definitely a shoot it at the floor. And we need to end up, it looks like, above us. So if we drop down into the hole. There we go, step two. And then do this again. Oh, heck yes. <laughs> That's so cool. And then we need to grab the cube from up there. Ooh. So this will launch us at an angle. Uh, can we do this? Yeah, kind of. And then from here, we should be able to place that. Oh, or not. Oh, we're going to have to drop this all the way down. Uh, or just jump over with it. I guess that works too. I'm making things way more complicated than they need to be. And now that powers our door out, so now we launch ourselves over again. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> the timing of that could not have been better. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic cell and adrenaline. <laughs> well, that's comforting to know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a break here. Going to end the episode. Um, our omnipresent voice friend has just said this is going to take a while. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. She has a bad habit of lying to us quite a bit, so we'll see. But that's for another video. Like I said, this is going to be more of a, a mini-series. So if you love it, great. There's going to be some more episodes. I might even do... I'm thinking the base game will take me like two or three. And then there's also some additional uh, like challenge, advanced level content that I might take a stab at. We'll see. And if you don't like this series, well, like I also just said, it's a mini-series. So I've got other videos you can go watch. Uh, and, you know, we'll be done in not very long. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, as always, take care.